to stand before you today, knowing that we are the party of Canada's first Prime Minister, the father of our Federation, and the visionary who made this land possible, the great Sir John A. Macdonald. And I think it is a disgrace that some would allow extreme voices in this country to erase our proud heritage. But it's not just our heritage as Conservatives, it's our heritage as Canadians. Because if we allow this to continue, if we're suddenly going to sanitize our history, with the benefit of hindsight and knowing what we know today, then what if those extreme voices kept going? You know, the Liberal Party of Canada's elite donor program is called the Laurier Club. Now, Sir Wilfrid Laurier, Liberal Prime Minister, signed an executive order, signed an order in council in 1911, banning black immigrants to Canada. But he was also the architect of the Canadian Navy and a pioneer of free trade with the United States. Do we hear voices from the left saying that we better take his name off of everything and rename universities? William Lyon Mackenzie King, another Liberal Prime Minister, the man who navigated Canada through the Great Depression and led the country during World War II, closed Canada's doors to Jewish refugees fleeing Nazi Germany. And his own government at the time said, none is too many. Will the Liberals work to take his face off the $50 bill? No. But you can see how divisive this approach is, how destructive this is to our Canadian identity. We can and we should celebrate the giants of our history, like Macdonald, Laurier, and King, for the great things they did for our country. We can absolutely look to the past and learn from the mistakes that were made at the time while still celebrating the contributions that made Canada so great along the way. But friends, if we look back on our history and our leaders and only see their blemishes, we miss out on a beautiful story of a great country that has progressed into the safest, freest, and most prosperous in the world. Yeah.